<laughs> Go Buster! Buster and his friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck! Hooray! <laughs> She's here to show them what a fire truck does. When a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. What happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire! Yippee! It's time to practice. They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first. Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout? Oops! That's better. Well done! Now it's Buster's turn. Wow! Watch out, Buster! That was a great day, but now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work. <laughs> Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck. Thank you. Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home. Bye, Scout. Bye, Ash. <gasps> what is that? It's smoke. Where could it be coming from? <gasps> oh, no. It's a fire. What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter. Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help. Teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! There's the fire. Aha! And there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no! Quick! Phew! The fire is out! Yippee! What great teamwork! It's the next day at school. Teacher is calling Buster up to the front. What could it be for? Look! Mommy Fire Truck! She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat. Go, Buster! I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano! Wow! They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no, Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. 
Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone! Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh! Careful, Daddy! They're going to play some soccer together! It's time for kickoff! Buster passes the ball and… Uh-oh! Looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this! But Buster shows him how it's done! Time for a penalty shootout! Buster shoots… And he scores! Oh no! Daddy Bus, are you alright? Phew! He's okay! Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal! Daddy looks determined! Whoops! The ball's gone flying up in the air! Oh look! It's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck! Buster is inviting them to join the game! Great idea, Buster! It's buses versus fire trucks! Let's go! Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops! I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster. And Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh, look! It's Mommy Bus! Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait! Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball! <laughs> he does need the Buster's birthday! Mommy and Grandpa are setting up a very special party. Don't eat the food yet, Buster. You've got to wait until your guests arrive. Oh, look, here they are. It's Scout, Ash, and Bandit. Everyone's so excited for the party. What's Bandit up to? Hmm, that cake looks yummy. Not yet, Bandit. First, we're playing party games. They're playing musical statues. They have to dance until the music stops. Great move, Scout! And freeze! Oh no! Scout is losing balance! And so is Buster! They are out of the game. It's only Bandit and Ash left. And dance! Bandit is losing balance! Oh no! He knocked Ash over so he could win. And now Ash is out of the game. But Grandpa didn't see Bandit cheating. Hmm, that wasn't very nice, Bandit. Now they're playing Pass the Parcel. They pass the present, and when the music stops, they can take off the wrapping paper. Oh. Hooray for Ash! <gasps> Bandit has cheated again! He took the parcel after the music stopped! <laughs> Poor Ash! Bandit isn't playing very fair. Buster is telling Bandit that he's making Ash feel upset. He needs to think about how his actions affect the feelings of others. It's time for some birthday cake! Blow out the candles! Go, Buster! What a feast! All the delicious food has been eaten. Well, almost. Don't worry, Ash. Have some birthday cake. Bandit feels really bad for making Ash sad. Bandit is really sorry and gives Ash his ball back. 
It's okay, Bandit. Ash forgives you. But remember, it's not all about the winning. It's about having fun together. Buster's kindness saved the party. Happy birthday, Buster. Buster is packing his bag for Ash's birthday picnic. He will need a picnic blanket, something to drink. What else does Buster need? Marshmallows to toast on the fire! Thanks, Daddy Bus! Don't forget Ash's present! Buster is so excited to celebrate Ash's birthday! What's wrong, Buster? He looks a bit unwell. He really doesn't want to miss the party. Buster and Daddy have arrived. Time to play some party games together. Hmm, Buster really doesn't look well. But he doesn't want to miss out on the fun. They're playing hide and seek. Oh no, Buster is feeling really poorly. Maybe sitting by the fire will make him feel better? His friends are worried about him and want to make sure he's okay. Maybe some marshmallows will make him feel better. He can't even eat toasted marshmallows! Daddy Bus is taking Buster home to rest. But he can't forget Ash's birthday present. What is it? It's a painting set! That's very thoughtful, Buster! It's given Ash an idea! He's passing a paintbrush to Bandit and Scout! I wonder what they're going to paint! Buster is resting at home. He isn't his usual happy self. He needs to take his medicine and get some sleep to feel better. Well done, Buster. The next day, Buster is feeling a bit better now. But he's still sad he missed Ash's birthday. Daddy Bus has got Buster some warm soup. And what's that? His friends made a painting for him. And they're outside! Hooray! Buster is so happy to see his friends. And the painting has made him feel much better. It's the end of school. And it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. Now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa! Careful, Buster! That was a close one. Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster. You don't want to knock the flower. Oh, no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm. Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. 
they'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! Hey there, Buster. Oh, wow, look at that. You're in the Wild West. <laughs> and check out your cowboy hat. That must be the sheriff with his shiny gold star. Oh, look, a lasso. <laughs> <laughs> Great work, Buster. Now you're a proper cowboy. There's Terry. Tip your hat, cowboy, and say hello. I don't think Terry looks too impressed. Wait. <gasps> it's Bandit Bus. And what's that on his back? A sack. I think he's robbed the sweet shop. What a villain he is. You must stop him, Buster. <laughs> Quick, Buster. He's getting away. Chase after him. <gasps> Wake up, Sheriff. There's a robber on the loose. They're speeding alongside the train tracks. Faster, Buster. You can't let Bandit escape. Wow, Bandit jumped in front of Suki the train. Wait for the train to pass and... Where did he go? Oh, no. He's going the other way. That was sneaky. After him, Buster. Bandit is trying to lose Buster in the cactus field. Careful, Buster. Those are really spiky. You've almost caught him. Look out! Are you okay, Buster? Oh, no. The cactus has punctured your tire. Oh, no. You'll never catch him with a flat tire. Wait. Huh? Of course! The lasso! Rope him up, Buster. One, two, three, go! Great! You did it! You caught Bandit! And here's Sheriff Otis. I'm sure he's really grateful. There. Bandit is in the jailhouse where he belongs. Oh, wow. Sheriff Buster. What an exciting dream that was. Happy trails, Buster. It's time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. They're Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh, dear. I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh. Scout won. Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm. They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close. Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh. 
<laughs> Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game! See who can skid the furthest! What a great idea! Bandit is going first! Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better! Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn! He's so little, he's spinning round and round! He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet! Last up, it's Buster! Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's getting out of control! Whoa! Oops! Buster splashed Mommy with mud! Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home! They're back at Buster's house in no time! But wait! They can't go inside until they're all cleaned up! Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off! Splish splash! And there! Now all four of them are clean again! But even so, that skidding race was so much fun! It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside! But what's this? He's left his toys all over the floor! Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play! Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast! But not very well! Oh dear! He's knocked that glass over! And now his mopping up has left water everywhere! Soon, Buster is outside playing! What was that? <gasps> Mommy slipped on all the water! Oh dear, the room is still such a mess! Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well! But he can make it all better! He just has to clean up properly! And take his time to do it right! Mommy and Buster can do it together! Like it's a game! <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them! And they're so much faster if you work together! There! Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled! Perfect! The room is all tidy at last! Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together! Hooray! Look, it's Buster the bus! But whoa, he sure looks sleepy! He's driving off the road! Oh no! Buster's ended up in the muddy puddle! And now he's stuck! Poor Buster! How will he get out? The next morning, Scout visits Buster's garage! But, oh dear, Buster is nowhere to be found! Where is he? But look, muddy tracks! Scout is following them to see where Buster is! There's Diggly the Digger! Scout tells him Buster's missing, they need to find him! Scout and Diggly search together! Look, a trail of sweets! Where could it lead? Whoa, what was that? Aw, phew! It's just Robin! <laughs> Scout explains that Buster is missing, and Robin agrees to help search too! They'll have a better chance of finding him if they work together! Poor Buster is lonely and cold! Scout looks behind the trees! Diggly looks beside the rocks! What's Robin seen? Some more tire tracks! Look! There's Buster! He's stuck in the mud! He's been here so long! 
Robin goes to tell Diggly and Scout that he's found oh. Buster. He's just over the hill. There's poor Buster. <laughs> Diggly and Scout can help. Working together, Diggly and Scout pull Buster out of the muddy puddle. Huh? Now Buster oh. is free at last. <laughs> he's very grateful to his friends for rescuing him. Now he's back, Whoa. safe and sound in his garage. <laughs> Buster looks so excited. <laughs> I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. <laughs> Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner, but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. It's a brand new day, and it's time for Buster to head off to school. There's Diggly. They can go to school together. They're going to race to school. Whoosh! I wonder who will be fastest. Whoa! There's a little duckling in the road. He should be more careful. There's a mommy duck. She's trying to cross the road with her ducklings. But look out! Here comes Terry. Here comes the teacher, too. Oh, no. Phew. Thanks to Diggly and Buster, the duck family can cross the road safely. Aw, they're going to swim in that pond. Uh-oh, that duckling is walking back to the road. <laughs> Good job, Buster. Now the ducks are going back over the road. Buster and Diggly are helping them cross safely. Mommy Duck is crossing, too. Well done, everyone, for helping! <laughs> but Terry and the teacher want to get moving or they'll be late. Wait a minute. I think Buster has an idea. Hmm, what are they doing with those paints? White lines? And some signs? It's a duck crossing. Now the duck family can cross the road safely whenever they like. There's the teacher again. He's telling them to hurry up. The kids had better get to school or they'll be late. Nice work, everyone. Hey, Buster. Looks like another day to have fun. Oh no, it's Bandit the bus. Buster, watch out, you will crash. Wait, what's happening? Oh wow, you're floating in the air. This is incredible, Buster. I wonder if you can fly. Oh wow, you've turned into a superhero.
You are so fast! Super Buster is here! Woohoo! What has Buster seen? It's Otis the police car. I wonder what Otis is looking for inside the tunnel. Wait, it's Bandit the bus. What is he up to? This doesn't look good. Oh no! He's pushed the boulder over the edge and trapped Otis in the tunnel. You've got to save him, Buster. You can't let Bandit the bus get away with this. That boulder looks very heavy. It's okay, Buster. You're a superhero now. You can save him. Oh, Buster, your eyes. Wow, you have laser vision. Well done, Buster. You've set Otis free. Now let's catch that naughty bandit bus. There's Bandit. Looks like he's up to no good again. Scout, watch out. Poor Scout. <laughs> Look who it is. You're in trouble now. Super Buster is here. Buster, you can stop him. <laughs> Super Buster is too strong for Bandit. That should stop him. Phew. Now Buster just needs to help Scout out of the pond. <laughs> Look at Bandit. He's stuck now. Oh, it was all just a daydream. I don't think the teacher is very happy. Buster and Grandpa are going shopping at the supermarket. Here's the shopping list. Carrots, sweet corn, and a new soccer ball. Buster can't wait to get the new soccer ball. But Grandpa reminds him they need to get everything else on the list first. Starting with the carrots. Buster races off. There they are. Nice work, Buster. Next, sweet corn. He's found them. Whoops. Careful, Buster. All the tins might fall over. Phew. Great save, Grandpa. <laughs> Next. Yay! The soccer ball! Buster is zooming ahead to find the soccer ball. But wait. Grandpa's been left behind. He can't find him. Oh, no. Buster and Grandpa can't see each other. Buster is searching and searching, but it's no good. Poor Buster is lost and getting worried. Look, it's Ash and his mommy. They can help him get back to Grandpa. At last, Buster is back safely with Grandpa. He knows he shouldn't have run so far ahead. He's sorry, but Grandpa forgives him. And here's the new soccer ball. Hooray! Hey there, Buster. Looks like a hot day out in the desert. Whoa, look at that ahead. A big mountain with smoke rising from the top. What was that? It's Frida the sports car. She's speeding off toward the smoky mountain. I think she wants to race. Buster and Rita are speeding across the desert together. Rita is faster. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster is using that ramp to jump after Rita. Phew, that was a fun race to the top. But look, what's that? Hot molten lava. I think this is a volcano. It could erupt at any moment. Uh-oh, Buster, careful of that rock. Oh no, it's fallen into the lava. Phew, nothing happened. Oh no! I think the volcano is erupting. Quick, guys, get out of there. Oh no, there are fireballs shooting out of the volcano. Look out, they'll be really hot. Oh no, Rita is stuck in the sand. Buster is being brave and going to help his new friend. Great job, Buster. Now quickly, drive away. Faster! Faster! Phew! That was a close one! Here's Ashley the fire truck. She doesn't look pleased. She's going to have to put out all the fire. Buster and Rita aren't saying anything. They didn't mean to set the volcano off. That was close, but Buster made a brand new friend along the way. Bye, Buster. Bye, Rita. Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. 
they're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! And Ash gets to go first. Five and two. That's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight! Along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh, wow! He's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster. Five. Oh, dear. Down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. Oops! He knocked over his counter. What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with. But he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. <gasps> oh no! He moved his counter up! But that's cheating! Oh no! He's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game! Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. Ah. That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... <laughs> there, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. Look, it's Buster the bus. But now he's a fish in the big blue sea. And look, there's a tiny baby shark. That crab is snapping his claws just like the baby shark's jaws. Buster wants to play with them. And look there, that must be the mommy shark. She's dancing with the crab. She looks like she's having so much fun. What fun! Look, it's Sham the shark. He must be the daddy. Now Sham is dancing excitedly with the crab. Buster is happy to see his old friend. Who's this? Glasses? Wrinkles? This must be Grandma Shark. <laughs> She's having a great time dancing with the crab too. <laughs> Look at her go. And this happy shark with a mustache? That must be Grandpa Shark. <laughs> He's having such a good time. Now Buster has met the whole shark family. Now Sham and Buster are playing together in the ocean. They're swimming through the coral and then up towards the surface. Aw, oh, but the poor little crab can't keep up. Look at Buster and Sham jump gracefully out of the water. But the little crab is having a tough time. Up Buster jumps. Whoa! Watch out, little crab! Aw, oh, Buster wants to play together. Now all three of them can swim together. Oh dear, Buster looks all worn out. Sham and the crab are saying goodbye. They've had such a nice day. Oh, it was all a dream. Or was it? There's the little crab again. 